What's going on everyone? And welcome back to Treebeard's Toy Box. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at this brand new Disney Multiverse Jack Sparrow action figure from McFarland Toys. Uh, this is from a uh, game that is supposedly on the way. I have not seen it yet. I think it's a mobile game. Um, I'll definitely check it out when it comes out, but I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, I picked up Buzz and did a review of him. I like him a lot. And then I also picked up Belle today as well, and I might do a review of her as well. But definitely wanted to check out Jack here. And he is one of the seven inch action figures from the line. And real quick here, I will show you his packaging because I've already opened him. And here we have same kind of box as Buzz came in. And I believe it is only Buzz and this Jack Sparrow that are in the seven inch line as of now. And on the back here, you see, get this nice image up here. And then we get a picture of Buzz's card. This is the card they came with. And uh, this looks to be a variant, like a chase of Jack Sparrow. And it says fractured. And he looks like kind of like he's uh, like a spirit version of or something like that. So uh, I haven't seen him yet. And I am not sure if that is an exclusive to a certain store. I've heard nothing on that yet. So if you have any information, please leave it in the comments. And thank you. Um, but yeah. You get a nice image here on the side, and then on the other side you get that image. And that is it for the packaging. And let's go ahead and get to the figure here. And here be our Jack Sparrow out of the packaging. And he is right here in the middle here, along with the, uh, kind of got him hanging out with the Diamond Select Jack Sparrow figures. I picked up a couple of those recently, and that, that figure is amazing. Um, but we'll, we'll talk about him in a different video. We will do a size comparison later, but uh, right now we're checking out this cool McFarlane Toys Mirror Reverse Jack Sparrow. And he is definitely a more animated, animated version. Sorry about that. Um, so you can see the ones in the background are a bit more realistic. And this guy, yeah, looks, you know, he's designed for the game. Um, he looks pretty cool there. I love his skeleton arm here. Pretty cool. And uh, this is like a uh, softer plastic. That feels real nice. And this, it actually goes over the whole figure. It's kind of like this overlay piece. House is the uh, torso up there, and there's a little bit of articulation under there, but it's hindered as with, with most McFarlane when they do that. But you can see there he's moving a bit, um, so that it's cool. I like how they do that, um, but it does hinder the figure from time to time. Uh, you see here, this is a soft plastic piece here. I do like that, and his hair is made from a very pliable plastic there, so it gets out of the way. That's nice. Um, the details, he looks pretty good. Um, there were a couple nitpicks I noticed I wanted to point out. The uh, paint, like this gold trim here. If you see it follow it down the sculpt, it stops right here. But the sculpt continues all the way around back. And I feel like the paint should have been included there as well and it kind of cheaped out. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate. The same with this hat up here. We get these little pieces here that are gold, and they're on the other side as well, but they're unpainted. I mean, maybe most people won't see that, but I see it, so it's just, just kind of a cheap out. I didn't like that. Um, but it, it's a fun figure, it, especially if you like Pirates of the Caribbean and Jack Sparrow. And of course, when this game comes out, if you end up liking that, yeah, he's, he's a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories. So for accessories, uh, we only get uh, three things, two of which I am leaving in the packaging. I did take those things out for Buzz, 
but I don't feel the need to take them out for Jack Sparrow. I, I didn't need to take them out for Buzz, but uh, regardless, we get a stand. And I do want to make a note that in the promotional images, the stand has the Mirrorverse logo printed on it. And that's kind of how McFarlane does a lot of their stands. The, uh, the uh, IP will be printed on the stand, whatever it, you know, franchise it came from. Uh, these stands are blank. Just a plain black stand, which is fine with me. I just wanted to make a note of that so you're not surprised when you get the figure if you do decide to pick them up. Um, it's it's going to be a little bit different than the uh, promotional show. So maybe they'll fix that down the line. I'm sure it was just a mistake. Um, regardless, I don't think it's a big deal. At least not to me. Uh, we also get the trading card. Um, and we saw kind of an image of that on the back of the box. And I'm just going to leave that in there. The way they pack those is they come... Uh, Kind of blistered on the uh, the back, you have to cut the plastic and get them out, and so that's why I like to leave them in the box. Uh, but anyways, and then we also get this really cool purple effect piece, and I do believe that this is going to go around his skeleton arm, and it's very similar to like uh, something you might get from say a Marvel Legends figure. And I guess we'll see what happens, like kind of what he does in the game. I guess it just kind of hooks on his arm, something like that. As you can see, you can, you can do something there. Yeah, it's cool. I like the purple, you know, it's a cool effect piece like we usually get. It's nice. Uh, but yeah, that is it for accessories. So, a little light. Um, yeah, what are you going to do? We'll take this off because next up, let's go ahead and get a look at Jack Sparrow's articulation here. And he's going to get a decent bit of range in the head here. He's just got one of those, like, ball bell or barbell, uh, pegs on the on the neck there and his hair is pliable so as you can see there it, it moves around quite a bit back forward and all kinds of around and then for the shoulders we get that ratchet hinge there and the swivel all the way around we do get a butterfly joint in there which is nice and we're going to get a single jointed elbow And we get our little ratchet hinge for the wrist there. And then we get a swivel as well. And we get a decent amount over here for the skeleton arm as well. Get that shoulder. Get the butterfly joint in there. And there is a bicep here as well, whereas there is not on the other arm. So that's nice. And then we get a single jointed elbow here. And then we also get the little hinge, but no swivel for the rest, but that's all right. And that is a side to side for the wrist. All right. And then like I said, when, we're, when we first opened them up here, and took a look at them, there is something for the torso there. I don't want to bend it too far because I'm not sure where it's gonna, you can see there's a little bit of range there though. Um, the whole overlay piece is very pliable, um, so it really doesn't hinder it. A whole, I mean, it does a little bit, yes. Um, but it, there's something in there. So, little hindrance, but you can move them around a little bit. Um, we get our little hip movement there nothing going backwards of course because of the jacket um, but that's not bad for forward and then they do go out and it does have sort of a thigh swivel there at the top it's a little different it's McFarlane style you know and we're going to get a single jointed knee that's kind of ugly got to be honest um, it's due to the design of the pants 
and it does swivel there as well a little tight but it does move and we get our hinge and rocker and toe joint and it swivels yes it swivels too there at the ankle like here at the calf right there um, so not bad pretty typical kind of reminds me of like um, kind of what they're doing with the uh, DC multiverse but more like what they were doing with the Fortnite figures when they were doing more of this. That's kind of uh, an idea as far as articulation goes, uh, just something to have in mind. Um, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and as you can see, we've got our little spread back here, of all our guys hanging out. A um, little mix of different things going on, so there's a little bit of a size comparison for you. And then I'll also uh, bring a little, a couple other figures in here close so we can check them out next to Jack here. So for our first size comparison, we're going to go ahead and do Buzz. Um, not only because he is in the same line, uh, but also because someone had requested on the, uh, on the Buzz Lightyear review that I do some size comparisons. So here is Buzz next to Jack. And real quick, I mean, well, actually we don't need to. Well, we'll, we'll do this here we've got happy over here so you can kind of see a marble legend and then we'll throw another marble legend on this side to get closer to buzz so this is the brand new iron man what is it mark three from uh the first iron man i believe it's mark three if i'm wrong uh yeah forgive me uh anyways i just picked him up hopefully i'll be doing a review of him uh, i couldn't wait to open him uh because i was very excited and impatient so that's why i've already opened him this figure is amazing uh, but yeah, they're just for a, a size comparison. Marvel, Le brand new Marvel Legends from Hasbro next to the McFarlane Buzz Lightyear and Jack Sparrow from the Disney Mirrorverse. There are those. Now, here he is next to now this guy is a giant he is just kind of like in proportion he's not in proportion with anything really he's bigger like a like it's just a bigger seven inch scale figure um he towers over the diamond select jack sparrow back there um but regardless i'm happy to have him this is the john wick from john wick 2 and I was able to find him at Walgreens the other day. And that's where I found Jack Sparrow as well. So I was pretty stoked about that. Uh, but this, I'm also using this as kind of like a Neo figure in honor of the brand new Matrix movie we have coming. So. Uh, but yeah, there is John Wick, our Keanu Reeves, and our animated Johnny Depp here. And let's see... Here is an S.H. Figuarts, Doctor Strange, and my goodness, there's quite a size difference there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that, uh, let's see, what else can we have some fun with here? Yeah, we'll throw April O'Neil in here, at a 7 inch scale NECA figure. Let me fix her delicate little ankles there. Oh, come on. Come on, April. There she is. Beautiful April O'Neil. Um, yeah, there is a 7-inch scale NECA action figure. Um, I hope that helps. Yeah. So here is Mr. Jack Sparrow. And I'll tell you what, this figure is a lot of fun. Um, he's popping up all over, at least at Targets. Um, if you aren't dying to get him, maybe wait to see if he goes down in price a little bit. He's only $19.99, but unless you're dying to have him, I am seeing a lot of him. And since the game's not out, there's a chance that they may end up having to, to mark them down a little bit. So maybe hold off a little bit. But I still will recommend this figure. It's fun. 
dig McFarlane, if you dig Disney, if you dig Pirates of the Caribbean, then go ahead and check this guy out. Like I said, he's pretty easy to find a target, popping up all around. Um, you, you might not see any Black Series or Marvel Legends, but you're going to see this guy hanging out. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to do it. Um, let's see. I want to know... We'll go ahead and do... I want to say 6 out of 10. He's pretty light on accessories, and he is a little limited in articulation. Um, and there were those little nitpicks I had about the detail of the paint and how it's like you can obviously tell they stopped here, but the sculpt continues around the back. Yeah. So yeah, 6 out of 10. Still really enjoy this action figure. Love Jack Sparrow. Um, but yes, thank you all so much for watching, as always. And please make sure to like the video. Please make sure you're subscribed. And uh, tell me what's going on. Tell me how you're doing. Leave me a comment. Uh, but yeah, and make sure you hit that uh, bell notification on the way out so you uh, know when I got videos coming. So, yeah. Until next time, take good care.